This video is not financial advice, for entertainment only. In the financial markets, there is a special day called a quadruple witching day. That may sound like hocus pocus, but it actually describes a logical, if hectic, event. Quadruple witching days, also known as quad witching, are the four days in a year where the combined effects of derivative traders exercising their in the money options and taking delivery on their futures contracts as well as traders practicing arbitrage made quad witching one of the most turbulent and heavily traded days of the year. The quadruple witch, quad witch happens the third Friday of every calendar quarter month, March, June, September and December. Next Friday December 18th will be the last quadruple witching day in 2020. The simultaneous expiry of the following instruments, 1. Stock index options, 2. Stock market index futures, 3. Individual stock company options, 4. Single stock futures not commonly traded, was called triple witch before these were introduced. So, why witching day? Witching refers to the witching hour, midnight. Referring to the old idea that this is when witches come out and magic is afoot. During the expiration of such stock agreements, trading can be more volatile and stocks can plunge. So, it's a period of wild activity, like a witching hour. Due to the combined effects of exercise, delivery, hedging, arbitrage, as well as speculative options trading and futures trading activity. During quad witching days, the most obvious effect is a dramatic increase in trading volume. Because traders and institutions effectively run out of time on the close of trading. There is a lot of portfolio rebalancing, contract rollovers and more. The last hour of the trading session, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is referred to as the quadruple witching hour. Is when the volatility really increases and assets swing dramatically. The day also owes its name to all the wild volume and volatility that historically takes place in derivatives markets as well as the broader market as investors on both sides of each trade buy and sell securities. For that reason, it's also called Freaky Friday. Is it tradable? For the last two years, volume in futures and options contracts was 30% to 50% higher on the Thursday before quadruple witching Friday. But on the actual quadruple witching day, is usually accompanied by considerable volatility in stock and derivative prices, as well as increased trading volume. As a result, investors can anticipate and plan for the potential effects of this relatively turbulent trading day. The first thing to know is that this Freaky Friday day is not either bullish or bearish. You cannot just buy or short sell and make guaranteed money. What is guaranteed however, is that there will be a big surge of volatility. There is on average 40% more volume on this day than the average. During the last hour of the session there is a bias towards the sell side, but it can vary. Remember the best trade is often. No trade at all. Sometimes being a spectator is much better than being on the field in the markets. Just because you have no trade, it does not mean you are not a trader. In fact, no trades mean no risk. Which makes you a professional risk manager. These are the type of traders that succeed in the long run. Don't be afraid to avoid these freaky Fridays. Some very successful traders take these Fridays off. And don't even turn on the computer. That's okay but without experiencing the rush and opportunity of a freaky Friday. You will never know what is best for you. I hope you are more confident and ready to tackle the volatility like the professional traders. Good luck on your trading. Manage risk and generate profit. This is my analysis for quad witching today. Please subscribe below. In order to receive my daily analysis and findings. Thanks for watching.